All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are. Um, we are back at the point of I already did the head bearings. All of that is torqued up. Um, a lot of these bolts here are torqued up. And actually, real quick, let me go to my comments here because I was just asked a question and we're gonna check that out right now alrighty so I was asked by I was asked a question by a gentleman named Andrew Dugan Dugan or Duggan I'm, I'm hoping I'm not saying your name wrong and if I do I apologize he asks please film everything you're doing on the front end my bearings need done to PS what did you fix the kids for dinner <laughs> laugh oh well <laughs> I actually I ended up we ended up going to a buffet yeah, that's where they said they wanted to go and their daddy's a sucker so uh, yeah so this is what I ended up doing here as you can see and we're gonna break that down to you just in a little bit alright so real quick just to show some of the things that I did to get a lot of uh, put this thing in my pocket to get a lot of this out of the way this is what I did all right well so you can still see I had to loosen these two bolts which is this here and that there I actually remove them remove those two those are 19 millimeter bolts okay you got to take the speedo off which is right here there's two bolts right there one there and one there it's not on right now so you can take the bars off but I didn't it's actually easier if you take the bars off just make sure you make a little mark with your marker somewhere on the bottom so that you know where it was I just didn't want to take the bars off so I didn't but it's easier if you take the bars off because then you can just pull this out I had a little bit of rusting going on down in here okay alright so this is the bottom side of the handlebar mount I noticed that some rust was forming on this little mount here which is which is this here right for the handlebars I think the water is getting in from right there and seeping down going down in here and forming rust on these mounts so I cleaned it off and I put some grease on it so hopefully uh, hopefully that helps, but I guess we'll see. Something to check down in there for some reason. Not sure why, but I cleaned it all off with some emery cloth and I put some grease on there. Greased up those little, there's some little rubber bushings right in here. So when you take it apart, just make sure you take a look real good at to, as to where some things are. And um, I put some grease in there all along. And here, underneath here, some rubber bushings. When you look on your bike, you can see it a little better. Um, did that. Now, once I got, once I got all of this out the way, basically this, 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 this here, out the way. This needs to come up. And to do that, you need to loosen those two, like I previously mentioned. Then you can pull, you can pull uh, this bolt here. And this bolt is this bolt here is a 27. So once you once all of this the handlebars and everything is out the way, you pull this. There's a washer under there. Just don't forget that that's there. Remember to take that. Make remember to account for that washer. Okay. You pull all of this stuff off. You're gonna have your your little uh, what the heck are they called? These little jester. These little. Uh, uh, I will call them bolts, but they have little spaces in them, and you need a you need a special tool like this, okay, like this here with those two little pieces in there. You need a special tool like that so that you can put that in there, and it'll, and, and you can put your torque wrench in there. But you're not gonna need a torque wrench. You just need a half inch so you can loosen. I mean, they come in different sizes. I ordered a half inch. Um, <clears throat> but you're gonna need to put your 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 ratchet and your ratchet and wrench in there, 
and then you can loosen up the top you can take it off you can take off the other one and then you'll be able to pull that lower triple tree out and of course that is after you take your brake distribution block and all of this other stuff out the wiring has to come out of the headlight bucket all of that stuff has to come out so after you do all of that then you can get to that point where you can pull pull this out okay and then you're gonna have to try and get that race off of there which you're gonna have to put something flat in there to knock the bottom end of that race down up actually um, and then you can get that race off and you can put the new race on there and you actually put the new race on with the old race and tapping it on a little bit like that okay and the top race I needed a uh, if if you're changing head bearing to different to the uh, all balls tapered style bearings you're gonna need the OTC special tool well that's what I needed for the top because I couldn't get a screwdriver along the edges to open it up and you can see that in the other video and um, any other questions yeah just feel free to message me you know I can always I can always explain it so yeah I hope that helps um hope that helps you out hey youtube all right so at this point where we're at we've got the forks off already and since the forks are off i'm gonna go ahead and lube my head bearings now for me to do that i have to take this fairing off the back piece of the fairing's got to come off this has got to come off, this has got to come off. Maybe I can leave this on. I don't exactly remember from the last time I did it. And I gotta actually disconnect the battery now that I now that I remember about that, I gotta disconnect the battery. So let's get started on that. That's gonna be a time lapse because it's just too much. I'll show you how it is that I lube the 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 head bearings. Steering bearings, head bearings, however you may want to call them. Um, forgive my pauses, but I'm gonna show. We'll, we'll show. I'll show you that. I'll show you how I do it. It's it's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna get started on that. And again, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for following along. I know right now it's a little chilly for us, but as you can see, I have the garage door open. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let's get started. All right, and then I'll come back once I got this all this stuff off. It probably is gonna take me. I don't know if I'm be able to get all get everything off today. I kind of doubt that, but so uh, yeah, let's get started. get ready to pull the bolt that's right here and then I'll be able to lift this off all right uh, the plan is basically to pull this whole top part off and lay it over I should put some gloves on so when I take the bearing out yeah I think I got a little issue of having too many tools all right so I'm gonna turn this like that Okay, 
and it should be able to pop this. It's not really on that tight, so. Yeah, it's not on that tight, so as you can see there. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm just going to turn this bolt off now. And then under that will be the little double nut thingy. I, I don't remember the, the actual name of it. Can't remember. I think. I don't know if I'll be able to, to do this, but I mean, if it works, that would be nice. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have to actually take this thing off. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I actually have to take off the these parts here for the handlebars. Um, I don't have to take the handlebars off, but this piece has to. I have to loosen that and then take it off. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm hoping. Actually, I should be able to get this in there. Decently, it's gonna be hard for you to see because of the angle. I don't know if I can get this wrench in here. Just because it's that's loose, I guess. Ooh, this one's a tough one. by hand somehow see these are ready to come off I need a wrench all right I don't really want to move my my handlebars so I'm kind of just trying to do it this way. I think this was how I did it last time. Or maybe I did it from the back here. That very well could have been it. Actually, yeah. That has to be how I did it. Maybe I was just lifting from the wrong angle. Alright, let's take that over here. Alright, so hold on to this. Because all these wires are going to want to go with it. Oh yeah, awesome. Just a tad of a shortcut, yeah? Just a tad. Alright. The only sucky part here is this. I can probably put this kind of off to the side. But I really don't want to do that don't want to put it on the tank obviously for obvious reasons Excess, which is fine for right now. We're just gonna pull this. Right. That was what you were looking at just a minute ago. Alrighty, so alright, you can see good, yeah, good. So we're gonna pull. These two nuts, drop this down, 
we'll take the bearing out of the top we'll get the bearing out of the bottom that's in here we'll grease it up and then put it back together torque it down of course I have to remember how it is all right loosen this is here I'm just gonna put that right back in there all right this can you see so we put the little funky tool on here and they probably have better ones than this but this is what I have and you just turn it there you go and there's that one I'll take this off your torque specs when you're putting this stuff back on which is what I I do there's actually no way for me to remember it so I always have to refer back to the manual which I have on the iPad I have it on a phone too but I usually use it on the iPad um, You can take a screwdriver and just hit the edge of that thing too. That'll loosen it right up, but this works pretty good. You just have to kind of hold it. All right. Okay. So that that's that part. So now we're gonna take it out. You're just gonna hold. You're gonna support the bottom. All right. While you unscrew this because this is going to want to fall out. That's the first thing it's going to want to do. We'll pull that out. And again, I'm just re-greasing the head bearings here. Okay. Alright, so that's out. Now we're going to slowly let this out. Alright. And no rush here. So let's take your time. Okay. You got that out, and of course that plug is in. I forgot about that, which is fine. All right, so here is here is the lower one, and that's actually that's actually pressed on there. So I'm just gonna cake that with some grease, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. Let me unplug this because I'm not gonna let this hang by that plug. And it actually looks pretty good looking at it this is for the air temperature sensor That's in an awkward spot. Actually, usually I would have taken this bracket off, but there we go. All right, so this is here. We are. That's the lower. Turn it around. This is the lower. As you can see, those are the tapered bearings that I'm running from uh, all balls. All right. All right. Let me put this down we're gonna grease the, the top first and then we will get to we'll get to the bottom no pun intended all right so take our cap off here and said beerin is inside okay and still looks good. Could use some grease though. Yeah. But it looks good. Okay. Alright. Of course I got the light right behind me and I'm standing right in front of it. Whoop! 
All right, so let's pack that up with some grease. All right, so I just have a little glob of grease in my hand there, and I'm trying to do this while looking at the camera, but I'm just gonna push that in there. Does this little piece in here come out? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm just gonna push that grease in there, pretty much like that. Okay. The bearing on the bottom, the bottom triple tree, that doesn't come out, so that's just going to be kind of just is what it is. I'll have to grease that while it's on the triple tree, probably as you already know. Okay, and you're just going to repack this. And they say every 15,000 miles you should do this. Um, I'm at 10,000, and the reason why I'm doing it now is because when the motorcycle season kicks off you know you're really not going to want to stop riding and take your bike apart like this just so you can do this you know what i mean like no one's going to want to i'm not going to want to so i was like you know what i'll just do it now you reset the clock it is what it is you know just grease them up and i'm probably just going to put a nice thick thing of grease there the inside race looks pretty good. You know, I changed these from the cage style to uh, to this style. I forgot what they actually call this. Look, at I was doing it off camera. See, I gotta like look at the little screen on the Yi and look at this at the same time. It's crazy. Anyway, so I'm just making sure this packs in there. And then after this, I put this back in there and I will follow the manufacturer's directions for tightening this. When it's time for me to do a rear tire, I'm going to do that rear swing arm again. I'm going to repack that with grease that needs to be repacked. And that ought to be soon. I'll be doing that before the West Virginia trip. Alrighty. That's nice and greased up. Alright. Try not to get grease all over the place. Much less me. Alright. So that's nice and greased up in there. Some grease in the in the race too. So yeah, I'll probably be doing this again next uh, next winter as we get closer to fall. I'm anticipating putting on about ten thousand miles again this year. I don't see why not. So. That's what I am anticipating. Alright, so we'll set that back in there. Make sure that turns nicely. It's nicely packed. Okay. Ugh, God. All right, now I want to take my lower race. Okay. Oh, man. And that actually, I'll have to do a little bit different. It's going to be hard for me to do this on camera. But I'll try. So I'll have to actually pack this. It still it still spins as you can see there. I'll try not to drop this thing. That would be bad. All right. So it still spins as you can see there. I'm just gonna 
glob try not to step on the grease I'm gonna glob this here all right can you see I can't freaking see nothing okay glob that there spin the race around pack it all in there spin the race Pack it in there. Spin the race, pack it. Spin the race. I got enough grease on my finger here and whatnot that this should be good. I really shouldn't have any issues here. Jeez Louise. If this isn't happy, I don't know what is. Alright, so I'm just spinning the race and packing that grease in there. Clean up that little bottom lip there a little bit. Making sure that grease is nicely in here. It's nicely greased. Okay. And that looks good to me. All right, now, I think what I'll do, I, I am going to change gloves, okay, and then we can reinsert, we can reinsert that uh, lower triple tree, the upper, upper portion into the neck. And kind of go from there. Alrighty. Put this little cover back on here. We got our little cover here. And put that back on. Alright, that moves pretty good. Inside is moving good. All right, good. Got that on there. Now I will put the lower portion on. Just clean that up a little bit. Right. Jeez. That ain't greased. I don't know what it is. All right, I'll put this lower portion on and put the screw in okay we're gonna put this in there as we go in like so all right on up through there get our bearing in here motorcycles go by Guys got the bikes out. Okay. Oop. Just need to hold that up there so I can tighten this down. I'm just gonna snug it. All right. Snug that. And as you may know, last time I did the head bearings when I changed the race out I didn't need that special tool I guess unless somebody knows some special way of getting it out but I did use a special tool to do that all right so of course I, I usually torque this by the manual so that's what I'm gonna do but I like to just check it to make sure it's not you know it's not a uh, binding or anything like that should turn freely I mean aside from the million friggin wires on here part of having a fairing right I mean it's gonna be a little tighter than this but it's just so that it's it's in there you know and you don't have any play at least at least with that 
And I'm getting grease all over everything. All right, so we're back to the time lapse. I'm gonna torque this down. I gotta read the directions and what they say again. I have to torque this one, put the other one on top, torque that, and then go from there. All right. All right, so according to directions, it states to torque the lower ring nut, initial tightening, 37 foot pounds. Then you have to uh, you loosen it. Loosen the lower ring nut completely and then tighten it down to specification with the steering nut wrench again. And then that's going to be 13 foot pounds, which is the final. Check the steering head for looseness, so binding by turning the front fork. Page number is going to be 3 26 for your reference reasons. Okay. So we're going to tighten it down to 37 foot pounds. Then I'm going to loosen it and then tighten it down to the second spec, which is 13 foot pounds. Okay. I actually need to get this need to get this right. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is where I actually want it to be for it to click. Nope, that way. Okay. Well, there was a way that I did this that I got it to work. And I just have to make sure I do that. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to loosen that. 